Yo, 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 what up, YouTube X? It's your boy Daddy Easy here, iPod Jabber Hacker, otherwise known as Only Use Me Tomahawks. Some of you guys may know me as Easy, like I always say, to the black, to the blue, my avatar on my YouTube channel. Yeah, buddy. So today I'm going to show you how to fix your problems that may be happening with your Elgato software, so most likely Stream Deck or your capture device, whatever it may be. Have you ever used your Stream Deck or you try to update the software and it says, uh, permanently ended like that I'm gonna show you basically basically how to fix this problem and I'm gonna show you how to go about doing everything which is very very simple a lot of people may not know how to do this I've spoken to Elgato with this I gave them the fix how to basically go about doing everything and um, yeah basically it's just a little fix that you just basically gotta do so um let me just cut off my stream deck real quick cut that off quit the program okay just refresh on my screen really quick. Just give it a second to pop up. All right, so we're gonna get this. Click on that. Just exit that back here. All right, so have you tried to install this? Every time you try to install the program, stuff like that, and you just keep getting uh, crashes, and it basically keeps saying that um, it ended prematurely or permanently, whatever like that. I'm going to show you basically up on the screen right now what it's going to basically going to say. So you get this right here and you get this error code right here. Basically what happens right here and there's no way to fix that, right? Um, your first thing to probably do is you're going to probably try to go here. You're going to probably try to right click and you're going to probably try to click properties. And you're going to probably try to run it as an admin and all that crap like that. Um, as you can show right here, it says Windows and like that, and it's not working. You try to change it back, you try to put it back to whatever it may be, it still doesn't work for you. You try to run the next admin, and it still doesn't work. This is basically what you need to do you need to go to your settings, click on your settings right here. Then, what you want to do is go to updates. Then, once you inside updates, you want to go to troubleshooting. Inside troubleshooting, you want to just scroll down right here to you look for programs and compatibility troubleshooting. Just click on that. Run troubleshooter. Wait for everything to uh, update and, you know, just waiting for uh, the programs to set up. And basically, this is what you're going to do to actually get this to work. Um, so basically, what happens is when you try to run the software, and the program doesn't allow you to install it you're going to keep getting that uh you know it wasn't installed or permanently ended and all that crap crap so this is basically the fix the workaround to get it to actually work um you may have to do this every time you want to do a software update on a particular program that shows it most likely i have this problem with elgato softwares um i have no reason why i really don't have any idea why it does this but let's go to a stream deck Let's find this really quick. Uh, stream deck, stream deck, stream deck. Here we go, stream deck. Click next. Try recommend it. Test. So open this up. Close this out. Close that out. Click install updates. So when you do this, this is going to fix all your problems that you're having right now. Don't click next on this program yet. Just let this do what we got to do. As you can see, the uh, program is now working. Just let it do its thing. Okay, click next, accept, next, click next again, click install, and now the program is fully working now and you don't have to run with that problems. I was running into this issue every time I was trying to install it. I went probably almost a year trying to figure out 
how to fix this program and basically what I was doing was I was basically running another computer my secondary computer installing the updates and just copying the files and install it like that because anytime I try to install the updates via this computer I just was never able to install it and it just gave me so many problems trying to install the program and I just kept giving that permanent uh ending that it wasn't installing the software the programs whatsoever and as you can see right now it's actually installing the program that's what you got to basically do but do not close out of this window leave this to run do not click on this do not click next on this um <clears throat> the reason why i'm telling you not to end it is so if this program fails you can go back and do another test and it'll do another settings and try to figure out what's actually going on with the programs and stuff like that. I do use this feature so much um, to figure out what's going on with my computers, to figure out what's going on with programs I have. Um, even when it comes towards my Elgato, uh, sometimes when I have my Elgato in, um, I can't run it because I am using the Ava Meteor 4K uh, 60 with HDR built in. So that's basically what I'm using right now to record this screen and stuff like that. It is going to take some time. I'm not going to fast forward this video. Um, I'm going to put up the full length of this video unedited, just raw footage that's actually going up. That's why I'm talking to you guys right now to explain to you guys what's basically happening and what some of the problems was happening. But anytime you run into a problem that's dealing with software that's not installing or not running properly, always go into your settings. Go into troubleshoot, go to um, program compatibilities, troubleshooter, you look for the program that you're having problems with and always do a test, see if it opens up. Um, I'm going to actually do this with one of my games because I do have problems with one of my games that I have, which is um, Just Cause uh, 4, I believe, in the Epic Game Store. Basically, what happens is every time I play the game, the game crashes within like five or ten minutes of me playing. Um, so I'm going to do a test on that particular app, or I might just do a troubleshooting on the Epic Game Store um, app, see if that fixed any problems with this. So when I go inside the game, I'll be able to play it a little bit better and see exactly what's going on. But this is going to take its time to install. As you can see, it's removing shortcuts, it's removing a lot of stuff on here. Um, this program does take some time to install. Um, the program is not hanging right now. It's just basically it's just installing everything. It's just moving very very slow. Um, I'm trying to talk to you as long as I can, and so this is actually done removing the shortcuts and removing everything like that. I'm not going to cancel the program because um, it is moving very very slow. To show you that it is moving slow, let's try to keep the mouse right there and show you that it is installing, but it's installing super slow. <laughs> So, um, yeah, but I'm going to um, explain some of the things that might be happening with your computer if you're um, trying to install this thing and you don't have any, you know, you have problems and stuff like that. Now, I am going to say to you the reason why it's taking its long, sweet time to install on my computer is because for some reason my memory, which I am going to do a troubleshooting on this also with um, the memory and stuff like that. But as you can see, it's going through right now. But um, um, I am using a lot of CPU which on recording this. So installing and stuff like that may take a little bit longer than actually doing it because um, it is using up 100% of my CPU right now because I am upgrading and installing. And I do have this program running, which is using 100% of my CPU. My memory is at 55%. And yeah, it's, it's about time for me to upgrade my CPU to probably an um, a i7 or an i9 processor. But um, as you can see, everything is working correctly now. The program is actually installing. As you can see right now, boom, it's finished. Click finish. There we go. Now the program is done. Click next. Uh, save these settings for this program. Yes, we're going to save the settings so I don't have to come back towards it. So it's saving the settings towards it. Gather in the report. And we're just waiting for this thing to f save the settings. So basically, what it's doing is, is basically going to the properties and it's fixing everything that was given. Um, 
the program the problem from installing like that as you can see it's just setting all the settings so basically there was a lot of settings that was actually inside of it that needed to be fixed and um just want to keep this covered i don't know what this actually is popping up it's probably another menu but i'm not gonna say anything correctly just yet okay stream decks actually just popped up okay there we go program um incompatible program fixed as you can see right there we're good to go and i'm just going to close out this window because i kind of already know what that is so you see stream deck is actually working now and if i have my camera on you'll be able to see exactly that my stream deck is actually working now um can i switch some things up that'll pop up on the screen yeah there you go so i'm actually using my stream deck right now turn my volume up and down um this let's go towards some of this my easy logo apps click on that some of my jpegs right there it was supposed to be another one right there but i don't know what's up with that one should have been a dragon ball z one there it goes which i gotta fix that one up also okay guys that's how you fix everything right there that's all you got to do is just go to settings program compatibilities troubleshooter and that's how you fix it so it's your boy daddy easy here ipod job right hacker only use me tomahawks remember live it love it game it peace and deuces and also make sure that you like this video subscribe turn on that notification bell to become part of the dy easy gang gang and i will catch you guys later help me hit my milestone of hitting me and getting me to that 15k all right guys i'll catch you guys later peace